down 44% in 2022. Is Stone Cold Limited stock a buy for 2023? I'm going to answer that question in this video, so stay tuned. The Brazil-based fintech company backed by Warren Buffett is one, is a, one of the stocks in Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway portfolio. It gained some prominence because of that disclosure, but the company has merits on its own despite that backing. You could see looking at its revenue growth going back to 2018, revenue growth is growing nicely and then it exploded after 2021. Of course, um, you know, one of the things I'll mention here is that the Latin American e-commerce market is growing faster than any e-commerce market in the world. It's expected to grow faster over the next few years. I'm bullish on the Latin American market overall. Um, one of the other companies that I follow, uh, Meli, uh, Mercado Libre, I have recommended as a buy as well. One of the reasons for that is because it's a significant player in the Latin American market. For that same reason, I like that Stone Co. participates in that market as one of the leading players. But that's not the only reason. You can see very nice revenue growth, of course, pulling back a little bit as economies are reopening. But let's look at its operating income. And here's what I'm excited about Stone Co. is if you look at its operating income, as revenue has grown, its operating income has exploded. This is what I like to see in these growth stocks is that as revenue is growing, they're showing, they're demonstrating economies and scale and their profits are expanding, which is clearly demonstrated here in Stone Co. with their operating income from close to you know let's say a few just a few million dollars all the way up over 300 million in one quarter and 193 million in its most recent quarter so very solid demonstration of economies and scale and profitability growth in revenue and operating income the next thing I want to look at is cash flow from operations and I see a similar trend here although not as pronounced as operating income I do see uh, growth in cash flow from operations if you take the bottoms of each of these uh, quarters let's just take the bottom here and the bottom here the bottom here and the bottom there and you draw a line through it you see very nice growth in cash flow from operations over the years and so uh, and negative 51 million in its most recent quarter but it, it's had several quarters of positive uh, cash flow from operations and 300 million positive cash flow from operations in a, in a in a one quarter here And so I also want to look at its average diluted shares outstanding. I want to see if the company is using a lot of stock-based compensation and diluting shareholders. And we do see a little bit of that, but not to a too extraneous degree. Let's say they've got a little over 250, let's say 275 million shares outstanding here in 2018. And now more recently, they've got 303 million. And actually the share count has been falling since 2021, not expanding. So um, no alarming shareholder dilution to um, see here in Stone Co. Finally, let's look at its valuation and um, I looked at two things. I looked at its price to free cash flow since it was uh, generating a positive free cash flow in a few quarters, although not consistently. That's why you see this break offs here because it was not positive free cash flow in every quarter going back uh, several years. That's why you see the break in the data here. But um, you do see a price to free cash flow of just 20, which is very reasonable. And especially considering the growing revenue, growing profits, and growing cash flow from operations, a price to free cash flow of 20 is relatively inexpensive in my book. And then if we look at the price to sales ratio of 1.458, it's also the cheapest that it's been going back. Again, we have we don't have very much data for this company, but whatever we do have, it's, um, it's, re it's cheap according to that history. So... To answer the question, is Stone Co. stock a buy for 2023? I'm going to say yes. Stone Co. stock is a buy for 2023. Okay, so that's all I've got for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.